If you're studying GCSE physics, but you're not that confident with your maths, then please keep watching. The question I'm asked a lot is, how good at maths do you actually need to be if you want to do physics? You might be surprised by the answer. You don't actually have to be good at maths in order to do physics. There is one skill, however, that it is important to master, and that is rearranging equations. A lot of textbooks, a lot of physics videos will tell you about this method, where they will get an equation and they will write it in this kind of triangle format. The idea being that you don't need to rearrange the equation, you just simply cover up the letter that you want to find, let's say M, and then that will be equal to F divided by A. Now this method can be convenient, it can be useful, but I recommend that we ignore this method and we bite the bullet and we learn algebra properly. At first algebra can seem a little bit difficult but with some practice it soon becomes very very easy. The main thing to remember in algebra is that the equal sign, this symbol here, is sacred. In other words everything on one side of the equal sign must equal everything on the other side of the equal sign. Practically speaking what that means is that whatever you do to something on one side of the equation you have to do it on the other side. Let's have a look at an equation here. Let's say if we say that y equals x plus 3, say. Well, that means that everything on this side, y, is equal to everything on this side, x plus 3. Now let's try and do something to one of those sides. Let's say we added 5, so we say y plus 5 now equals x plus 3 plus 5. The equal sign is sacred. If we add 5 on this side, we have to add 5 on this side, otherwise it's no longer equals. We could take that a little bit further. We could say y plus 5 divided by 2 must equal x plus, well let's say 8 now, instead of saying 3 plus 5, why not make that easier and say 8, x plus 8 divided by 2. So I've divided this side by 2, so therefore I must divide this side by 2. If I don't do the same on both sides, it's no longer equal. The most common sort of problem in physics is to rearrange an equation to find out what one letter stands for. So let's look at this. We've got an equation here that says k equals c plus 273. Our task is to get c by itself. Well, we have to realize that c has, has had 273 added to it, so we need to subtract that 273 to get C by itself. So what we'll do is we'll write over here, we'll write C plus 273 subtract 273. But what we've done is we've subtracted 273 from this side, so we must do the same on this side. So we don't just write K anymore, we write K subtract 273. So we've subtracted 273 from both sides. Now if we look at this side, we can see that we've got add 273, subtract 273, so they cancel each other out, so we're left with C by itself. So C equals K minus 273. We would usually write it this way around, and we would say that C equals K minus 273. Now this is the same principle for any algebra that you do. We find out what we need to do to get the letter by itself. We do whatever we need to do. In this case it was subtract 273 and then we do the same to the other side. Here's another example. The equation here says f equals m multiplied by a and our job is to find out what a is. Well a has been multiplied by m so the way to undo that is to divide by m. So we can write over here we can say m times a divided by m. But we've divided by m on this side, which means we must divide by m on this side. So we get f divided by m. So f divided by m equals m times a divided by m. Now if we look at this, we've got an m divided by an m here. So they will cancel out. And that leaves us with f over m equals a. Now the way people would normally write this is A equals F over M. Now here's a more difficult example. This is the equation that says E equals a half MV squared. It's actually the equation for kinetic energy. It's probably the hardest equation in the whole of GCSE physics. So if you can rearrange this one, then you can pretty much do anything. Our question today is what is V? So we're going to try and get V by itself. Well look what's been done to V. V has been squared. It's been multiplied by m, and it's also been multiplied by a half. 
So we have to undo all of that to find out what v is by itself. Now, when you see something that's squared like this, you leave that until the end. We will undo the half part first, then we'll undo the m part, and finally we'll undo the squared part. So let's write that equation out again. We've got e equals a half m v squared. Well, to undo the half, if something's been multiplied by a half, the way to undo that is to multiply it by 2. So it's a half mv squared multiplied by 2. We've multiplied by 2 on this side, so we must multiply by 2 on the other side, so we're left with 2e. Now we can see that this half and this 2 are going to disappear there because a half times 2 is 1, so we're left with 2e equals mv squared. Right, let's undo the m part. It's been multiplied by m, so we need to divide by m in order to get v squared by itself. Because we've divided this side by m, we must also divide this side by m. We can see that this m now cancels with this m, so we're left with 2e divided by m equals v squared. Now the final thing we need to do is to get rid of this squared. Well, to get rid of something squared, we can just square root it. So over here, we can say the square root of v squared. And if we square root one side, we must square root the other side. So instead of just writing 2e over m, it's the square root of 2e over m. Now, if we can tidy this up a little bit, the square root of v squared, well, that's just going to equal v. I'll write that over here. And over here, we're left with the square root of 2e over m. And we would normally write it this way around. We would say that v equals the square root of 2 multiplied by e divided by m. So if you can solve this equation, if you can follow what I just did then, you can pretty much do anything in GCSE physics. There are lots of other videos on lots of different parts of the GCSE physics course. Please check those videos out and also do consider subscribing to Physics with Mr. Drew.